The story starts with a little boy named Haruko moving to a new location and leaving his childhood sweetheart Michan inconsolable. It just so happens to be a flashback recollection of Haruko who shortly had an accident and passes away. Even after passing away, Haruko opens his eyes to another world where he is reincarnated as Ryo in the place known as the Kingdom of Beltram. Ryo lives in a slum in his new world and his only goal is to exact revenge on the guy who murdered his mother. When Ryo runs across several royals who ask him about the missing princess Flora, Ryo comes to see the kidnapped princess. Ryo had been severely attacked after rescuing Princess Flora and he had been suspected of being the princess's abductor. But when accusations against him appear false, the king rewards him for his bravery. Ryo is given admission to the Beltram Royal Academy as a reward for saving Flora even though most of his classmates reject him because of his peasant origins. Celia, Ryo's instructor, is the only person who supports him. Ryo later learns that Celia is intelligent and has graduated at 12. Ryo keeps studying for the examinations and when the results are announced, everyone is startled to find Ryo and Princess Christina at the top. Ryo has been chosen to complete the night's completion, but his classmate, Alphonse, disproves of his decision and calls Ryo a poor person. It's been five years of being in the academy and now Ryo is interested in traveling to Yagumo, where he was born. However, during the Knights Tournament, in the first battle between Ryo and Royal Knight Charles, Ryo eventually beats Charles to take his revenge for being accused of kidnapping the princess five years ago. As Celia teaches the students magical formulas, Alphonse makes fun of Ryo, considering him the only person in the class who is unable to create magic. However, Ryo cannot cast magic formula but can imitate the flow of magical powers. During outdoor training on a mountain, the crew led in by Alphonse encounters an orc monster. Stuart is pushed by an orc attack causing Princess Flora to tumble over the mountain, but Ryo intervenes in time to save her. After using all of their magical abilities and exerting themselves to combat the orcs, the students come to believe that Ryo was the one who pushed Princess Flora from the mountain. Soon after, Ryo kills an enormous orc monster that had been about to assault Princess Flora. The headmaster is overheard by Celia discussing blaming Ryo for pushing Floro down the mountain. Since the royals want to accuse him, Ryo will forego his graduation and travel to the Yagamo area. On his way to the Yagamo, Ryo arrives at Amande, a market town in the kingdom of Glark. After making a purchase from Amande, Ryo departs on his adventure where he comes into a beast person that wants to kill him. After defeating her, Ryo sees her neck submission collar and removes it. When she regains consciousness, she identifies herself as Latifa and says that her brother Stuart from the Baltrim Kingdom has instructed her to carry out this task. While Ryo realizes she is no longer planning to kill him, he leaves her and when he continues on his journey, Latifa asks him to take her with him, to which he consents. While she is sleeping, Latifa mentions returning to his home in Tokyo, surprising Ryo, who thinks Latvia is also a human being reincarnated from Earth to this world. During their stay in the forest, Ryo has been attacked by demi-humans who believe Ryo is kidnapping Latvia. Ryo has been taken hostage by them, but has soon been released by Latvia's request and has offered an apology. In the morning, Elder Ursula brings him to the elders' meeting, where he meets two other elders who persuade him to remain in the village. After the meeting, Ryo sees Lady Dyrus, the spirit of the world tree, who feels a person-shaped spear resting inside Ryo. Meanwhile, Rice from the Celestial Lion Brigade enters a cave with a boy to steal an, a dragon egg. As they return to Strahl area of the Baltrum Kingdom, dragons are chasing them. During the Grand Spirit Festival, after getting the boy and Griffin close to the village, Rice departs. When every dragon has gone behind the egg, Rice enters the cave to prey on the other eggs that the dragons left behind. The boy has been approached by demi-humans, but he eventually dies when Rice breaks the pill. When the dragon in search of the egg is going to attack the village, Ryo shows his amazing fighting moves stops it. After the fight, back at the village home, Latvia tells Ryo about her prior life as a Japanese citizen. Later, after greeting everyone, Ryo departs towards the Yagumo area, leaving Latvia in the village. Once in the Yagumo region, Ryo has the opportunity to meet Yuba, the village chief. Ryo asks her about Zen and Ayame, who once resided in the area 15 years prior. 
After telling Yuba specifics about Zen's private life, Yuba presents herself as Zen's mother and asserts her grandmotherly status. She then takes Ryo to the cemetery where his parents are buried and tells him that his parents left the village secretly. Ryo learns from Yuba about her 15-year-old cousin Rui, who is the daughter of Zen's older brother. During his stay in the village, Ryo continues to assist locals, which makes Shin, the brother of Ryu's friend Seo, jealous. One day, Gon, the son of the neighboring village chief, harasses Seo and Rui. Later that night, when he sneaked into Ryo's room and tried to molest her, Ryo spotted him and beat him to death. Hayate, who was in the village for a tax survey, takes Ryo Shin Seo and hunter master Dola to the capital of the kingdom of Karasuki. Ryo meets Hayate's father, Goki, there, who reveals to Ryo that his mother was the Karasuki princess and his father was her bodyguard. They were in love. Zen and Ayame had to leave Karasuki since the prince of the kingdom Ryurukin wanted Ayame for herself. The following day, when Ryo goes to see his grandparents, he learns that Ayame had been killed by Lucius, an adventurer who had formerly been a friend of Zen. Back at the village, Ryo announces his desire to leave the village after the harvest celebration, which upsets everyone, especially Seo, who has started to love Ryo. After six months at the harvest festival, Seo pulls Ryo aside and, after confessing, asks to take her with him. Ryo then apologizes and leaves. The next morning, Ryo says goodbye to Lady Yuba and Rui, and while Seo also musters up the fortitude to do the same. After a two-year absence, Ryo returns to the demi-human community, where the eldest Latvia, Sarah, Orphea, and Alma welcome him. In the morning, when Latvia and her friends awaken Ryo, they discover him sleeping with a naked lady, shocking everyone. An adorable woman awakens herself from her nap and introduces herself to everyone as Ryo's spirit. She dresses Ryo as Haruko, and on her demand, Ryo names her Aisha. After that, Ryo and Aisha go to see Lady Dryas and the village elders who are all taken aback by their equal mastery of magical powers. Later, after Latvia and Ryo reminisce about their former lives in Japan, Ryo mentions his departure for the Kingdom of Stral. As Ryo is leaving, the elders give him gifts, and Saldra gives him a magic earring that lets him disguise and alter the color of his hair. Arriving at the Kingdom of Stral with the intention of visiting Celia, Ryo and Aisha discover she is getting engaged to Charles. Ryo is shocked to learn that Charles Arbor and Professor Celia Clare are getting married. Later, he discovers the truth of Charles' admirable arrangement with the neighboring kingdom, Proxia, after the fall of the Beltrum. Ryo sneaks into Celia's room with Aisha's assistance, where Celia is thrilled to see Ryo again before being married since she loves him but pretends to him that she is content with the marriage. The next day, Charles meets Celia in her wedding attire and presents her to his wives. As Charles leaves, the women begin to tease Celia and, fortunately, Princess Christina of Beltram interrupts them and orders the wives to leave. Ryo is in the crowd and is observing Celia, who is seated with a sorrowful heart. As they prepare to meet the rest of the nobles and royals, Ryo rushes to save Celia. Ryo attacks them, giving the impression of being a one-man army, demolishes the elite warriors, and renders Charles as an ineffective as a crumbled piece of paper. He then abducts Celia and, after communicating with her via telepathy, asks her to fly away while acting like a captive. He passes Celia to Aisha and runs away from the oncoming guards. Ryo is expected to arrive as Celia and Aisha are waiting outside the city. To Celia and Aisha's delight, Ryo arrives and they meet up again as they prepare to celebrate the success of the rescue. They see some noticeable lines coming up from the earth. The anime ends here, leaving viewers with unanswered questions as Ryo, who was sent to save people at Aisha's request, is startled to meet Michan.